So Kenny Galladay has finally made his decision. He's going to the Giants. This is what a lot of people thought would happen, and this is huge. In my opinion, he was the true number one receiver that was available this offseason. So for them getting him, he you know certainly was maybe the biggest free agent left at this point. So getting him, they now have a number one receiver, and that just makes the job so much easier for everyone else as no one else has to be the guy. They can let uh, Galladay be the guy. So huge uh, move there. And it's also a four-year, $72 million deal, which is $18 million a year, which feels reasonable. I mean, you know, wide receiver on an open market, typically you have to overpay for free agents. I think that maybe this, uh, you know, the cap uh, going down probably affected that a little bit. Someone maybe would have overpaid. You know, you remember the Cowboys paid Amari Cooper uh, $20 million a year. I feel like Galladay is at least comparable. He's probably better. Uh, I think he's better. So getting him... This is just a big move, and it's something they needed, and now they don't need that true number one receiver. So yeah, let's just get into the film study and talk about what I like about him as a player. So we'll start off with this play. This is the good one here, where what's going to happen is that this is a play against Jacksonville, and the play you see on the screen, this is a, it's a cover three zone, and it's going to start off as though Galladay is running a go route, but at least that's what he's going to kind of try and sell but that is not what he is doing. So watch how once this ball is snapped, Galladay is actually doing something very interesting here where he sort of ran essentially straight towards that defensive back and he actually ran a little bit closer towards the middle of the field. He's going to eventually cut towards the right, but the interesting thing about running towards the middle of the field and sort of just running just a little bit over to Galladay's right is the fact that he also kind of nudged over as though he's going to the left. And a lot of times what you can do here is then break it off and run an out route which, as you see, the defensive back here is completely expecting Galladay to either run a go or an out right here. He has no expectation of Galladay running back over the middle. And you can tell that, by the way, his hips are completely turned towards the sideline, despite it being cover three, where you almost never want to have your hips turned in that direction. You want to keep your hips turned towards the middle of the field, and wherever Galladay runs, you force him back towards the middle of the field and force him to run in that direction instead of running towards the sideline. Because of that, Kenny Galladay is able to run over, and he picks up a, a big gain. He got that initial separation. It wasn't bad coverage, too, but it was actually a pretty good recovery. It wasn't Galladay's cleanest cut, if we'll be honest, but, you know, Still a very good, well-ran route from him. It's also possible he just got lucky and the DB screwed up with his hips, but I doubt it. I think that he was actually, he picked up on something on tape, saw it, and made a smart move. So that's one in the positive column for his football IQ, for sure, in my opinion. His biggest asset is just going to be on something like this, just pure jump balls, where, if you notice, there is currently a linebacker who has stepped over the line of scrimmage. He screwed up, uh, so... That's a good thing for Detroit, and now it's essentially just like a Hail Mary situation, pretty much. They're just going to say, hey, we have a free play. Might as well see if we can get a chunk play instead of run our typical play. So, Galladay's now just going to run deep. It looks like it might have even been like that's what the play adjusted to once they realized it was uh, this situation. I don't know. Might have just been a lucky coincidence, but regardless, he is going to run deep here. So, once this play starts, you notice, again, good first step, gets a clean release, and it's just going to use his speed. He is kind of, you know... He's quick. He can run by you if you're not careful. So you do have to be careful there. He gets a ton of separation just using speed. And at this point, it's a good situation. This could easily be a touchdown. The issue, Matt Stafford, largely because, you know, there was a little bit of uh, contact, not a ton, but a little bit of pressure on Stafford. But it is underthrown. So now Galladay is going to have to bail out Stafford. And Galladay is a, an incredible jump ball receiver. That's one of his best attributes, which is, listen, that's a nice attribute to have. It certainly is. Watch him leap up, and he does make that grab and get inside the 10. Just an incredible athletic play. He already got the separation to get open, but then when the throw wasn't quite what uh, you would maybe want, he still goes up and makes the grab. I'm not even 100% sure if that was towards Galladay, if that was supposed to be towards 11 there, but either way, uh, a great catch is a great catch. And I want to show this play because one of the things that I really find fascinating about him is the way he cuts. There is no tell in his cut. It's something I've talked about with like a Julian Edelman, where Julian Edelman is just running in a direction, and then all of a sudden he's running in a different direction, and there's no way to tell. Uh, some guys are just like really good at, you know, they have a tell, but they do it so quickly that they can still get, you know, they can still cut quicker than you can react to it. But Galladay, you just don't even notice he's cutting until he's already cut. 
this is a good example. It's a play action against a cover three zone. So this is a great time to run a play action. You can get linebackers to move in. Galladay can run over in the middle. And there is a corner in that area who's supposed to cover deep. So every now and then you hope that the corner, especially in this situation where there's only one receiver in that area, can kind of just, uh, you know, notice this and run over and protect that area. But it's a difficult play to make. But watch. So first Galladay kind of runs as though he's going straight up. And at this point, He's running up, right? This He's running deep. He's running an out route. He may be running a, a slant, but it's, you know, he hasn't started his cut yet. And then boom, he's just cut just like that. It's, it's just an instant. It's one step. He can just change direction. It's almost like he puts his foot, when he puts his foot down, he like just changes the direction of the foot and he just starts going that way. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, incredible cutting he can do at times. And I almost feel like, uh, again, it's, there's just no tell. Other guys can cut maybe harder and quicker, but you can usually tell when that's coming and react to, you know, the fact that they're taking a longer step or something like that. There's no tell with Galladay. This is another example of just one of those jump balls against, this time it's against Atlanta, where it's really, I mean, this is kind of what you can do sometimes, uh, especially if you're in a desperate situation. Uh, this one, not quite a desperate situation. It's a one-point game in the fourth quarter. But, you know, if you're ever in like a Hail Mary situation or like a fourth down, uh, this is a thing you can do where it's man coverage, one-on-one -on -one matchups across the board. There's one safety deep. Galladay is outside the numbers running a, you know, just a deeper route. And Stafford's just going to say, screw it. I'm going to take the ball and I'm going to throw it to you. Stafford takes a snap, immediately throws it to Galladay. Galladay is not open. He just threw it because he says, you know what? I trust that you can win this matchup. He was throwing it to Galladay 100% before the ball was even snapped because he knew the coverage or at least knew most of the coverage, knew that it would be a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside because just no one else was in the area. And he knows Galladay is really good at this stuff. And again, watch this. Just goes up, makes the grab. Just an incredible play. That one was uh, reviewed, but still ruled a catch. So they uh, did not overturn it. Uh, so there's that. But, you know, again, incredible play. And it just kind of goes to show the confidence that players had in him. The confidence that Matt Stafford uh, had in him. And one more play would be this one. This is now against New Orleans, where what's happening is it's going to be a cover three zone, and that's the route that he's running. So, okay, you get the coverage. You see the situation. Obviously, it's a red zone situation. Watch what happens. Once this play starts, you notice that, okay, so the deep defensive back is kind of, he was starting as, he was already lined up actually a lot closer to the line uh, along with Galladay. So there is some separation right here. He's not necessarily, he's a bit out of position and honestly, this could be a catch, but it's a tough throw. I mean, Stafford is all the way on the hash marks to the top of the screen, and he's trying to throw it all the way over to the sideline on the bottom of the screen. That's a hard throw. It's a tough angle. And of course, if you underthrow it, that's how interceptions can sometimes happen. And he did, in fact, underthrow this one a little bit. It's a little bit behind where he would want. Ideally, you want to make Galladay sort of reach his arms out and make the grab because that's not going to get knocked away, and it's definitely not going to get intercepted. However, watch Galladay again, tracks it and still was able to make the grab when that was totally a catch that could have been deflected. Uh, he's a great contested catch guy. He also can get separation as well, though. He's not one of those pure, just throw up 50-50 balls to him and that's how he gets most of his yards. He can get open as well. So that's what he's bringing to the table. Uh, so yeah, that's what I think. What do you guys think? What do you think of Kenny Galladay? What do you think of this move? Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.